On November 13, 2010, oceanographers with the Center for Microbial Oceanography Research and Education, or Seymour, traveled to Arica, Chile to meet up with the research vessel Melville. Seymour scientists will be embarking on a 26-day expedition from November 18 to December 14 to study the waters adjacent to the Chilean coast out to Easter Island. For the days leading up to departure, scientists were extremely busy loading their equipment on the ship and getting set up for the research ahead. Luckily, I had an opportunity to talk with the chief scientist of this expedition, Dan Rapetta, from the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. This expedition is part of the Center for Microbial Oceanography Research and Education Program, or Seymour Program. This is funded by the National Science uh, Foundation, and it's one of the National Science Foundation's Science and Technology Centers. And what these centers allow us to do is to bring scientists from all over the United States and all over the world together to study things that we couldn't normally study in our own laboratories. So here with us today are scientists from Oregon State University, from the University of California in Santa Cruz, from the University of Hawaii, uh, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, and the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. And not only uh, these institutions, but we're joined by colleagues from Chile, from the University of Valparaiso and the University of Concepcion, who are expert in the, experts in this area of the ocean. And we're all here to study the microbial world. And, and microbes are critical to the, our planet. They supply half of all the oxygen we breathe. They affect the concentrations of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. They are the uh, origin of many geological formations and other processes that really impact the way we live. So we're going to leave here later this afternoon and steam south for about an hour. And, we'll, and there we'll do our, to arrive at our first study site or our first station. When we get on station, we're going to be making a number of, of observations and measurements about the bacteria and algae that live there. It's a very biologically rich area of the ocean. Uh, it's also one of the least studied uh, areas of the ocean. So why don't you come along with us and follow us as we study this area and then make our way out to Easter Island and learn more about the microbial world in the ocean.